Hi, I'm Natchelli and today's tutorial is for this Siamese Amigurumi cat in a keychain. This is a no sewing needed pattern, which means we do everything by crochet. Even the ears we crochet on the body, so you don't need to sew in any parts. Um, I, this is my third uh, pattern uh, for cats. I had already posted this one color pattern and this tuxedo cat pattern. I'll, I will also be posting uh, the tricolor one and this uh, one. Oops. And I also have a few dogs. So if you want to check it out, um, you can go in the keychain playlist. I'm going to link down below that playlist. So let's get started. So in the video, I'm going to be uh, doing one bigger like this one. I'm going to be using a 4.5 uh, millimeter hook and a compatible yarn with it. For this tiny one, I use, uh, let's uh, see the difference. For this tiny one, I use a 3.5 millimeter hook. So in the video, I'm going to do a bigger one. So I'm going to use a, a 4.5. So we're going to start uh, by, by using the light brown color. And we're going to do a magic ring. And then we're going to do six single crochets on it. So, one, two, three, four, five, and six single crochets. So we finish the first round with six stitches. And now we're going to pull the marker and start round number two. For round number two, we're going to increase six times in the light, light brown still. So six increases. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. And six increases. So I finished this round, that was round number two, with 12 stitches. For round number three, we're going to do one single crochet and one increase. And we're going to repeat that six times. So one single crochet, one increase, one time, one single crochet, one increase, two times, one single crochet, one increase, three times, one single crochet, one increase, four times, one single crochet, one increase, five times, and one single crochet, one increase, six times. So I finished this round, that was round number three, with 18 stitches, all in the color light brown. So in this round, that's round number four, we're going to start using dark brown. But we're going to start the round by doing three single crochets in the light brown. So one, pull my marker, um, three single crochets, and I'm going to uh, teach you how I change colors. So one, two, then the third one, uh, since we're going to change colors, we just do it halfway like that, and then we're going to introduce the dark brown so we finish this stitch with uh, the dark brown and now we do it we're gonna do now two single crochets in dark brown so one and now the second one since we're gonna change colors we're just gonna do halfway and then change colors and finish with the light brown so three single crochets in the light brown, two in the dark. Now we're gonna do 13 single crochets in the light brown. So one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen single crochets and light brown. So we finished this round. That was round number four with eighteen stitches still. So now uh, for round number five, we're gonna do two single crochets and light brown. So one, two. We do halfway because now we're gonna change to dark brown and we're gonna do five single crochets in dark brown. So one, two, three, four. The fifth one we just do halfway and then change to light brown again. And now we're gonna finish this round by doing 11 single crochets in light brown. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven single crochets in light brown. So we finished this round, that was round number five with 18 stitches. Now for round number six, we're just gonna do one single crochet in light brown. So we're just gonna do it halfway and then change colors for a darker brown. And now we're gonna do seven single crochets in the dark brown. So one, two, three, four, five, Six and the seventh one we just do it halfway and change to light brown So we finish the stitch with uh, the light brown and now we're gonna do ten single crochets in light brown so one two eight nine and ten single crochets in light brown now uh four round so we finished this round that was round number six still with 18 stitches for round number seven we're gonna do one single crochet in light brown again uh just halfway and now we're gonna change to dark brown and we're gonna do eight single crochets with the color uh with the dark brown color so one two three four five Six, oh, six, seven, and the eighth one we're just gonna do halfway and then change to light brown color. And now we're gonna finish this round by doing nine single crochets in light brown. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine single crochets in light brown. Now, uh, so we finished this round, that was round number seven with 18 stitches still. Now we're gonna start round number eight. We're gonna start round, round number eight by doing two single crochets in the color, uh, in the light brown color. So I'm gonna make one here and mark. So the first one we do it uh, complete and the second one we do it halfway and then change to the dark brown color. Oops. Because now we're gonna do six single crochets with the dark brown. Oh. Sometimes they get a little bit tingly. So six single crochets in the dark brown. So one, two, three, four, five, six. The sixth one, we're just gonna do it halfway because we're gonna change colors now. So now we're gonna uh, change to light brown and finish the stitch with it. And now we're gonna do two single crochets in light brown, one, two, one decrease, and now we're gonna do one single crochet and one decrease two times. So one single crochet 
and one decrease. Oops. One time and one single crochet and one decrease. Two times with the light brown. So we finished this round. That was round number eight with 15 stitches. Now we're gonna pause uh, crocheting a little bit and we're gonna place uh, our eyes and our nose. For this uh, one, I'm doing a bigger pattern. So I'm using 10 millimeter eyes and seven millimeter nose. For this one, I use seven millimeter nose, but uh, I cut it down a little bit so it gets smaller because it's the smaller I can find and a seven millimeter eye. So what we're gonna do is we stop here on round number eight. So between round six and seven, we're gonna place the eye. So this is eight, seven, and six. And now we're gonna place our eyes here at the extremities. And then we're gonna count because between them, uh, and below we're gonna we need to have set uh, four single crochets between them so I place them here and I'm gonna check so one two three four four single crochets one let me get close one two three four so below we have that and now between this four stitches, one, two, three, four, like between these two, and between round seven and eight, we're gonna place our nose. So if you do it like I'm marking, uh, you're always gonna do it right. So you have to do like the extremities of the brown, and this one has to be right in the middle. I'm gonna place the safety lock in, and then we go back to crocheting. So you gotta check if your nose is right in the middle of this two stitches over there, you know? So you gotta be right there. Uh, now that we, we place the, the eyes and the nose, we're gonna go back to crocheting. So we stop here at round number eight uh, with 15 stitches. Now for round number nine, we're going to start by doing one single crochet and one decrease in the light uh, brown. So one single crochet and one decrease with the light brown. Uh, since we, uh, we are changing colors, we're going to finish. You can finish the stitch and then undo it, the last one or you can do it halfway. Like you do the decreasing halfway too. And then we're gonna finish with the color, with the dark brown color. So the last part of the stitch is, is with the dark brown. And now we're gonna do one single crochet, one decrease and one single crochet in the dark brown. So one single crochet, one decrease and one single crochet with the dark brown but the second one we don't finish we do it halfway and finish with the light brown now we're gonna do one decrease with the light brown um and one single crochet and one decrease twice with the light brown so one single crochet, one decrease once, and one single crochet, and one decrease twice. So we finished this round, that was round number nine, with 10 stitches. And now we're gonna stuff our head. So I stuffed the head here, and now, um, we stop in round number nine. So from round number 10 to round number 18, we're just gonna do a uh, light brown. So we're gonna use light brown for several rows now. And the dark brown just comes back for the paws and the tail. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut this dark brown. 
it's just so it doesn't get tangly but if you don't want I'm gonna cut a little bit long so it can do the body and then reattach the dark brown later but you don't need to do that if you want to keep the the dark brown in it's totally fine it's just it's easier that way I don't like especially in the video because I gotta be with the amigurumi away from my face uh, so I don't like the, the dark brown like tangling up on everything so uh, we stopped here on round number nine with ten stitches for round number ten we're just gonna do five decreases so we're gonna start by doing here one decrease and placing our marker on it and now we're gonna do four more so one decrease two three four and five decreases so we finished this round, uh, we had 10 before, with 5 stitches, because we decrease 5 times. Now, for round number 11, we're going to do the inverse. So we did 5 decreases, now we're going to do 5 increases for round number 11. So we're going to start here, 1 increase, 2 three, four, and five increases. So we finished this round, that was round number 11 with 10 stitches. For round number 12, we're just gonna make 10 stitches, 10 single crochets, no increases or decreases. So one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten single crochets. Now, so we finish round number twelve with ten stitches still, and for round number thirteen, we're gonna start by doing one increase six single crochets so one increase one two three four five six single crochets one increase and two single crochets one and two. So we finish round number 13 with 12 stitches. For round 13, we're gonna start by doing one single crochet and one increase. So one single crochet, one increase, seven single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven single crochets, one increase, and two single crochets, one, and two. So we finished this round, that was round number 14, with 14 stitches. For round 15, we're gonna start by increasing one, so one increase, one single crochet, and one increase again. Nine single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine single crochets one increase 
in one single crochet. So we finish this round, round 15 with 17 stitches. Round 16, we're gonna start with one increase. And now we're gonna do 16 single crochets. So one, two, 15, and Three. 16 single crochets. So we finish round 16 with 18 stitches. And for round 17, we're gonna start with one increase. One increase, one single crochet, and one increase again. Now, 15 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen single crochets. So we finish uh, round seventeen with twenty stitches. For round eighteen, we're gonna start by doing one increase and one single crochet four times. One increase, one single crochet, one time. One increase, one single crochet, two times. One increase, one single crochet, three times. One increase, and one single crochet, four times. Now we're gonna do 12 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve single crochets. So we finish round 18 with 24 stitches. For round 19, we're gonna need the dark brown again. So I'm gonna reattach the dark brown here and then I come back. So I reattach the dark brown here and we're gonna start round 19 with the light brown. We're gonna start by doing four single crochets in the um, light brown. So one, two, three, and four in light brown. And now we're gonna start including the dark brown. So we're gonna undo the last part of the stitch here and finish with the dark brown. And now we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna chain 13 times. So one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. And now we're gonna do uh, slip stitches, twelve slip stitches. We skip this first one, and then we start by doing slip stitches on the next. So one, two, three, four, five, oops, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Oh, so the twelfth one we gotta finish with the light brown because now we're gonna go back on doing on using light brown. So you take this. And do the last slip stitch here with the light brown. Now we go back here to the round. So we did four single crochets and the tail. Now we're gonna do uh, eight single crochets. So let's just do it. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and the eighth one, we just, oh sorry, we're just gonna do it halfway. So, and now you're gonna take the dark brown and finish with it. 
Uh, now we're going to do a bubble stitch with the dark brown. So what we're going to do is, so we have this uh, loop here that we finished. We're going to put three more for the bubble stitch. So yarn over, come through here the stitch, yarn over, uh, pull the pull through, yarn over again, and pull through two loops. Now we have this, the loop we had and one more loop. So yarn over, pull through the same stitch, uh, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. So now we have the one we had at first and two more loops. Now third loop, yarn over, pull through the same stitch, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. So we have now the bubble stitch, the loop we had and three more. Now for finishing this bubble stitch, we're going to take the light brown and then we're going to pull through all the uh, four loops. You see? Now we're going to do two single crochets. So what we, we do is, I'm going to do one single crochet here. Then you got to pop the, the bubble stitch out and then squeeze here. So one single crochet, now a second single crochet, just halfway in the light brown. And we're going to finish with the dark brown, because now we're going to do a popcorn stitch. So for a popcorn stitch, we first got to do four single crochets together on the same stitch, four double crochets together on the same stitch. So one double crochet, two, Oops, three, and the fourth double crochet, we're just gonna do halfway in the dark brown, you see? Now we're gonna finish the last loop here with the light brown, and now we're gonna take uh, here the both loops and take this one and pull through. So we got here a popcorn stitch. Now we're gonna do one single crochet halfway in the light brown, you see? There's the two loops, and now we're gonna finish with the dark brown. And we're gonna do now a second popcorn stitch. So, four double crochets, one, two, three, and the fourth one, we're just gonna do a halfway and then finish with the light brown. Pull here, come through here, take and pull through. Now we're gonna do two single crochets in light brown. So one, come. now we finish with the dark brown, the second stitch, and we're gonna do now a second bubble stitch here just as I taught before. So yarn over, pull through, pull through loops once, yarn over, pull through, pull through two loops twice, yarn over, pull through. If this is uh, a little bit quick, you can go back in the video in this one so you can see it slowly. So now take the light brown and pull through all of them. And now we're gonna finish this round with three single crochets in the light brown. So one, two, and three. So uh, we finished now with the dark brown. Now I can cut it again. Because uh, the last two rounds, it's all in light brown. So I cut it here and I'm gonna uh, secure with one piece of yarn I left behind. So now we're gonna do, uh, so we finished round number 19 still with 24 stitches. For round number 20, we're just gonna do 24 single crochets. I'm gonna teach you how to do a detail here. So what you do is one, two, three, and four. So you see the tail here, you got to make sure the tail it's out that you don't uh, crochet it in. So you put it out 
and then you skip the tail and go back here doing your single crochet. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three and 24. So we finish uh, round number 20 with 24 stitches. Now for round number 21, we're just gonna decrease 12 times. So, one decrease, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve decreases. So now we have like a big hole here. But we can cut the yarn. The round 21 was our last one. And stuff the body. So now that I stuffed, I pull through uh, my yarn on a tapestry needle and I'm gonna do a inverted magic ring. You don't need to, you can't um, stuff it too much so it doesn't stay flat. If you stuff it too much here, it will not sit up like this because it will not be flat. So now we're going to do an inverted magic ring, which is, we're just going to take the loops here and two at a time and then pull through with our needle. So all of them, all the 12 stitches. And you go pulling it up and you pull really tight so it closes you see and you get like a flat surface here now I'm gonna tie a knot if you're doing as a keychain you can leave like a long tail here and use this yarn to sew in the keychain chain so there you have it. Now I'm gonna cut it off. And so the last thing we have to do here are the ears. And like I said, it's all no sewing needed. So we're gonna do a magic ring through the kitten's uh, head. So this is our first round. So between rounds two and three, Look at that, this is the first one. The two and three, we're gonna pull through our yarn like that. Pull through the dark brown. And then you're gonna come back here on the same place a second time, you see? So you get a loop. And then you did like a magic ring in the kitten's head. So now, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna secure this magic ring with the slip stitch now we're gonna do a half double crochet then chain two one two we're gonna do a slip stitch on the first chain we made now another half double crochet all through the loop you see that's like in the loop now we're gonna do a slip stitch and then I'm gonna cut here and pull through the yarn through this hole. Now you tie it up and now you pull it here, you see? You gotta organize. But you pull here and I'm gonna tie two knots here. So one and two. And now I'm gonna hide this yarn inside the head. So you pull through, lose the yarn, 
second one too. And there you have your ear without needing to sew in. I'm going to do my second one here and then I come back. So there you have our cat without ears done. And then you can fold the tail like that. You see? And it stays up. So if you like this pattern, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see all the other uh, patterns I post, you can check it out the uh, keychain playlist down below and see all the patterns I made. If you do this pattern and post it on Instagram or TikTok, tag me please. I love seeing uh, my patterns getting all over the world. I'm from Brazil, so I love to see uh, when you post and makes me happy and also helps my, uh, my page and my channel to grow. So thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.